Hello, friends. I'm so happy to see you today. My name is Vicki Summers, and I am a storyteller. I'm an actress, and I'm also a drama teacher. And today I would like to share with you one of my favorite little stories that I've been really enjoying reading to my own granddaughter. It's called The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Dyson. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, and I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I bred, spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scrowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. Blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, and she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope, how about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? says the fish to his friend. Miss Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a, come on and sing it with me, guys. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wears all over the place. Blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. You bulky, bulky soaking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now, along comes a fish with a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a fish upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astonished. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and he speaks at last. Oh. 
My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known all along. I thought that I was out, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss-kissed fish with a kiss-kissed face <laughs> for spreading cheery cherries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. The end. What a nice story. I hope you all enjoy this story as much as I enjoy it. Hmm, there's a lot to talk about there, parents. And when you tell this story, have fun with it. Try out different character voices. That's the part I like the most, is to each fish can have a different character voice. And let the kids do some of the lines as well, especially the chorus, the glub, glub, glub. Ask questions about, how the fish feels. How does he look? Have fun. Enjoy this story and really, really let your kids explore it too in their own emotions. Now, I want to suggest an art project that you might want to do after you've read this story with me. I created a fish myself. I just wrote my, drew my own fish with my own colors, if you see right here. But the children can draw whatever fish they want, use whatever colors, and talk about how interesting it is to use different colors and to try out different things and not be afraid to create. Now, you can take this outside too. You can go to the, you can go to the beach and have the kids collect all kinds of sea creatures or, or, or stones or shells and that kind of thing and maybe create something when they come home. Sometimes I like to take contact paper and when children can collect things like shells or maybe leaves or whatever, then they make a different kind of picture on the contact paper, which you know is that sticky paper. And that's a fun way to do it. You can also take it into the kitchen. Maybe you'd want to create fish or sea creature uh, pancakes or cookies. Um, you can also use Play-Doh and create all kinds of sea creatures that way. The sky's the limit, but the point is to have fun. Enjoy this. I want to thank you all for being with me today, and I hope we'll get a chance to read some more stories in the future. Thank you so much.